co-directors Dennis Latos and Scott Aharoni premiered their short film Bardo at Manhattan's Dolby Theater of Avon of the Americas. My name is Lily. What's yours? Johnny. Johnny. I feel uh, really good about it. Um, we worked really hard on this film, uh, and I'm very surprised in the turnout. You know, I expected, uh, I expected a lot of people, but not this much. Tonight's event was absolutely amazing. The amount of people that came, I think we had close to 250 people. The support was incredible. The response to the film was astronomical, far surpassed anything we could ever imagine. And I couldn't be happier with the result. Everyone loved the film. We had tears coming out of the theater. It was absolutely incredible. The theater packed in to see the 20-minute short written by Greek-American Petros Yoriadis, filmed in Astoria, New York, and starring Greek-American actor John Solo and Lelia Goldoni, who starred in John Cassavetti's film Shadows in 1959. The biggest challenge was shooting with low light, and um, other than that, I think just, you know, we, we worked really hard on this film, and I'm very happy the way it turned out. We have certain techniques that we've watched our loving directors that we see in Hollywood and we just take those techniques that we've learned and use it in our film. Bardo is a story about an alcoholic drug addict taxi driver who has a life-changing moment after discovering a secret from his ride. The movie uh, makes you think. It makes you sit back and realize how life can change, how things happen for a reason, how people who are on the other side are really here with you and I think there was a lot of uh, a lot of uh, Dennis's personal life in this. The ending definitely made you tear up a little bit. If you've ever lost a loved one, you know what it's like to, I don't want to spoil it, but it, it's gonna, it gets you. It gets you, it, you feel it in your stomach. The Greek American director, Dennis Lato says he was inspired to pursue developing this film after the loss of his father in the fight against cancer, Peter Lato's. The one sad moment to this event is that my brother Peter, who was his biggest fan and biggest supporter, is not here to see uh, the byproduct. However, I know that he's here spiritually and with him uh, and following him every step of the way. I'm very proud for Dennis, for his brother, for his mother, uh, for everybody in his family. Everybody supported him. This was a great, great moment. I think I used all of uh, my negative energy and I turned it into positive energy and I worked really hard uh, on the film. And I think the film incorporates a lot of life and death and I got a lot of that inspiration from, you know, losing losing my father. The directing duo are already on their next short film. I wish Dennis and his team to actually walk down the real red carpet uh, and actually win an Oscar for best director, best screenplay, best writing. Uh, he deserves it. Future plans are to make it to Hollywood. That's 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 the plan. <laughs>